Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this rose gold look makeup. So if you want to know how, just keep watching. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows already check and I'm going to do my eyeshadow next. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty um, Rose Gold Edition to do my eyes. You want to do your eyeshadow first because it does have a lot of fallout, especially with this look using the rose gold. So I am just going to be putting a base shade and a transition shade. I only use one palette to do this look so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my lid add some tape so that it can look more defined and then I'm using this pink color I will have all the shadow names down below in the description so to cut the grease slightly I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer and I'm just Cutting it lightly so I can see where I want to place the rose gold eyeshadow. And then after I do that, I'm going to be using the rose gold shade that's in this palette. And I'm going to be using my finger to apply it to my lid. And then after, I'm going to be going in with a brush and just evening everything out. But I find that applying it with a finger first works better than when you apply it with the brush. It's definitely more pigmented and you'll get a better result. So as you can see there's a lot of fallout with this palette so I went ahead and just brushed everything off and there's a lot of glitter too. So next I'm going to be using the e.l.f. primer and then the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and just applying that all over my skin because I want a matte finish foundation for this look. Then I'm going to be using the same concealer for my under eyes because I have a lot of bags. So next I'm going to be using my favorite contour stick by Anastasia to contour my face. I'm going to be putting the cream contour and then after I'm going to go over it with the powder. So this highlight and contour palette is by IBY. I'm just going to be applying the shade, the uh, powder, all over my skin on top of the contour. I'm highlighting my under eye area and then I'm going to go ahead and use the brown neutral shades to contour my face. I'm like Eminem but I got a vagina. Hey. To finish my eyes, I'm going to be applying the same colors that I used, so rose gold and then a pink shade that's in the palette. Again, I will have all the names down in the description box below. I'm just going to be applying that under my eyes so that I complete my eye look because honestly, it looks way better when you apply eyeshadow on the bottom. Then you guys know the drill, I'm going to add some setting spray and then apply my highlight on top of that because the result of the highlight is so much better when you do it this way. So for my eyelashes, I'm using House of Lashes um, by Sephora. Then I'm just going to plump my lips a little bit with this. And my eyes got really red in this video because I accidentally got some of the rose gold in my eyes. So if you notice that my eye is like really red, it was already red before. But if you notice that my eye was red, that is why. And I'm using this Tarte lipstick. I will have the name down below because right now I do not remember what it was but it's the melted lipsticks and I love this nude color so yeah this is basically the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe don't forget to put setting spray after so that your makeup lasts all day but yeah this is basically the look 
um, if you liked it, put a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, see you later. My swag is immaculate, crisp like a bag of chips. Look at you falling in love. I came way too far to be average. I'm calling the shots in the factors. My confidence makes me a savage. Yeah, I didn't wanna roll it, roll it, roll it.